Hello, skiers and riders. Carrie Todd here with the Squaw Valley Update. We woke up to a beautiful fresh layer of new snow this morning, 16 inches up top. I gotta say, it's great timing for a magnificent Martin Luther King weekend and beyond. Conditions are insane. The snow is just like really glopped on, but it's solid. It's like dense like Sierra snow that we love to ski. And so all the terrain is going, all the you know big jumps and hits, it's all fun. It's about a foot and a half of straight uh, lovey. Oh God, yeah, love. It's pretty good, let me tell you. We were waiting for this snow for a long time. It's really good, it's fun, it's powder, nice, soft. It's really good. <laughs> We're right in the middle of the Olympic Heritage Celebration, and here are some of the highlights from the event so far. Hi, Andy. Thanks for coming back after 50 years ago when we took it into the valley. We kicked off the Heritage Celebration which is celebrating 50 years. Right here in the square, we had all these past Olympians, including uh, Penny Patu, who won two silvers here. So for me, I just, it's, it's amazing to be around that. You can't substitute the emotion that surrounds um, bringing countries together in the spirit of competition. Here yeah, they have at least 200 soldiers working in that picture. This. There was a mountain, there's no rocks or anything. It was just a big bump. 16 feet is about the longest. They're all dug fur, clear, beautiful wood to work with, and they're all handmade. We make them. Short skis suck. <laughs> Ready to ski fast. A little scary, but fun. And when we first started doing this, it was a tiny turnout, and when the March race rolls around, we have hundreds of people watching and loving it. We didn't celebrate our 25th anniversary, we just waited for a big one and here we are on the 50th. I think that people, when they ski here, they realize they're skiing where other people have skied before, other people have made history here. And it, it, it creates a special feeling in people. Uh, they seem to really enjoy it and that's something we want to keep up. And as we gather steam for our Olympic Museum and hopefully a bid for 2022, you can still catch the final weekend of the Olympic Heritage Celebration. Here's what's on the calendar. Enter or watch the Olympic Legends GS Challenge on Saturday, January 16th. This is your chance to race Olympians. Registration begins at 8.30 a.m. and the cost to participate is only $10. Then on Sunday and Monday, January 17th and 18th, watch future Olympians during the Olympic Valley Freeride Freestyle Team Mogul Competition. Coming up next week is the National Safety Awareness Week and another Women of Winter on Wednesdays. So you know what they say about Alice's, you can get anything you want. And that's especially true now that they've added the new spirits of the valley. We're really glad to be open in the village here. It's a convenience for lodgers as well as day skiers and all of the valley people here. We have hard liquor, beer, and wine. The best thing is, is that we're open on weeknights till 10 o'clock. We're open on weekend nights till 11, and on holidays and event nights, we'll be open until midnight. We're all looking forward to the Free Ride World Tour coming to Squaw Valley, USA, February 27th. The tram face is starting to look real good. As always, for complete event listings or for more information about Squaw Valley, USA, go to squaw.com. That's Squaw Valley Update. I'm Carrie Todd, and we'll see you on the mountain.